All right. Students head back to school in less than a week. Sorry, kids. But that means parents are shopping for new backpacks to lug around books, pens, papers, extra clothes. Yeah, that, that's what they say, an extra outfit in pre-K. I hope that ends in kindergarten. Okay, health reporter <laughs> Haley Hernandez has a message on how much is too much for your kids to carry. Yeah, guys, look this. Backpacks, both straps on. This is the best option. You guys remember this look when kids did this? Yeah. Or this look? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the ones that are excessively heavy or the one shoulder, that's what creates bad posture, which is a, which has a way of evolving into a painful problem. Exerts the pressure downward down the spinal column. Dr. Rosalind Wynn, a sports medicine physician at Baylor College of Medicine, says the weight of backpacks should directly correspond to your child's body weight. Over 10% of a child's body weight exerted too much pressure on the discs and led to more back pain. That means a 60 pound child should not have a bag heavier than six pounds in order to avoid tears in the lower discs of the spine and keep pain away. If you do have a little one, this is about what six pounds of school supplies looks like. We've got a book, a spiral notebook, markers, crayons. Wynn says you want to be putting the heavier stuff towards their backs. This prevents an imbalance of weight. I've had patients who've had sprains and injuries just swinging a heavy backpack. She says if you buy a smaller backpack, it could help keep the load to a minimum. Plus, Wynn says you want one with padded straps and preferably a strap in the front for a better center of gravity. So when you tighten up the straps, it keeps it closer to the body and does not sag down and exert more pressure into the lower parts of the back. All right, so keeping in mind that this is a lot of weight for your kid's body to bear, Wynn says this is when you can teach them the proper way to lift heavy objects. Bend at the knees, keep a straight back, bring the backpack in, and then stand <laughs> up. Now, I'm going to show you, you on Amy okay. exactly where it should fit on your kid. So when you go to buy your backpack, they say shoulder. She says it should hit the shoulder or a little bit below and not more than four inches below your waist here. So okay. that would be my waist. What do you, what do, you mean, do with Yeah, so that would be good for you. So if this is for Jack, this it's probably my, too big for him. This is my five-year-old's backpack. But yeah. honestly, I needed it that tall to, so that his notebooks would fit inside and still zip up. I yeah. know it's too heavy. Some, I know it's, it's too It's heavy. a little bit of a tough buy then for the preschoolers and the kinder yeah. students. And the little grade. ones and just in 10% of their body weight, you saw, you know, what yeah. six pounds equal. Yeah. Six pounds adds up fast, so mm -hmm. just make sure that there's not just, too much, which you said was rolling carry on luggage. Just let them wheel it <laughs> exactly, in. I mean, forget I the backpack. Yeah. Just yeah. Roll it yeah. in it's if it's like this. Be well, Take this, mom. The doctor <laughs> said the doctor said those wheelie backpacks are good, but apparently they're banned in some schools. Oh, really? they, they told us it was. I didn't know about that because they were scared that the kids would trip themselves yeah. on it, especially for the younger ones getting distracted. So they they suggested for Kinder to not do. Yeah. Which injury is worse? I know. This is good information. though. I'm going to measure and see. We still have to buy one for this next year. Yeah. Maybe there's. Backpack boycott. Smaller ones for the, the yeah, backpack right. boycott. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah.